What's up everybody, Alex Comstock here with Whitetail DNA. This is gonna be five saddle hunting tips. Um, after a year of saddle hunting and doing it pretty much exclusively, I wanna cover between me and team member Luke Ellison is gonna jump in here too. We're gonna to talk about five of our top saddle hunting tips and kind of what we learned over the course of the year. And the first tip that I'm gonna go over is, is um, getting some type of hooks for your saddle and for the tree. So what I mean by this, this one I found extremely important. On the saddle, we have got these hooks by Innovating the Outdoors. I'll put a card up here where you can link to them. But essentially what these do, I'll show you here. Let's see, I'll put the actual saddle on. All right, so once your saddle's on, these hooks on the side are game changers. So what I do when I'm climbing up a tree, I've got, you know, I'll do the first stick, then I'll do, you know, I'll grab the second stick and get ready to go up and the other sticks. I take and hang just like that. So that way, when you're climbing up, you know, these are right here on your platform or on your saddle, you can just grab them. So what I would do when I'm going up, oh, sticks locks together, good. I would do two on one side. So like that. And then I would grab my platform and I would put that on the other side, just like so. Boom, and that way when I get all the way up to the top, ready to go, I can just grab my platform off, hang it, got my sticks right here. These hooks are awesome. And then another thing is you've got this guy right here, which is for once you get up to where you wanna be. If you, This is great, especially for if you're hunting, say, public land where you can't screw stuff into trees. Um, you put this around the tree and then you've got three hooks here so you can go around the tree and have one for like your backpack, quiver, and your bow. So that's also really nice. I kind of went back and forth between using this guy and screwing stuff. Um, it all kind of depends what you're, where you're hunting and what your capabilities are, all that jazz. So that's your first tip. Um, find that really important if you're, you know, you could be a new saddle hunter, you could be Saddle hunting for a long time. If you don't have hooks like that, um, you know, you're missing out pretty much. That'll really, really help. So tip number two is gonna be coming up with the right pack. So here, I've talked about it before, but this is the Trophy Line Palisade pack. Um, you really wanna come up with the right pack for you and what fits you. So I talked about it in my 2023 setup video. I have got a big, you can see the difference here. It's a quite a bit bigger. I've got the Mystery Ranch Treehouse 38. So the, diff, the reason I run the Mystery Ranch is I do a ton of filming and I've got a ton of gear. I probably got twice the gear the average person going out to the tree does. So I need to be able to fit a ton. This, this Mystery Ranch is huge. You know, if I'm self-filming especially, I'm able to get my saddle, my sticks, my camera arm, my camera base, my three to four cameras that I've got and can get it all in and with me. Whereas if you're just saddle hunting, um, like a pack like the Palisade pack, Trophy Line also has their Sumter and Case pack. I would say between the Palisade and the Sumter, those two packs um, are really nice and they've got everything, you know, specific for saddle hunting. You know, they've got areas where you can put your sticks, you can strap them on the sides, the platform goes in here, and they've got quite a bit of room in the interior. So having the right pack, you know, this can be trial and error. Um, this can be, you know, watching videos like this and figuring out what you need, but having the right pack, you know, if you need to, you know, DM Trophy Line or DM, you know, someone like me who runs a lot of different packs and you know, get some, get some thoughts on what works, what doesn't, but having the right pack is gonna, you know, pretty much really help you out uh, in the long run when it comes to saddle hunting. All right, tip number three is gonna be don't be afraid to modify your gear. Um, a lot of people have their different ways of modifying. I know people with sticks, they'll put on just like the ropes, so you can just tie ropes, don't have any buckles. What I do, as you'll see here, I like to tape all my stuff in either hockey or just straight up hockey or grip tape. So see here, all these are wrapped. And then I also put a little bit of rope on here to make it really easy to put on my, my hooks. 
So this would quiet it down, so opposed to if you had, I don't even have metal on metal here, but it really helps, makes a big difference. Um, another spot that I modify my gear is on the buckles. I don't have them on these sticks yet, I really should, but you can see the difference here on, I wrap the buckles in grip tape and this really quiets it down. So you can see the difference here where here I got two with grip tape. Pretty quiet. Whereas you've got buckles here with no grip tape. You got that loud dinging sound. So one of the first times going to the woods this fall, I was walking, I had my buckles dinging like crazy and it was super loud. I figured every deer in the county was hearing me. So I decided to wrap them in grip tape and you know, it really doesn't make any difference with you know, getting, feeding it through. It's pretty simple. It doesn't make any difference and it really quiets it down. So those are three of my best saddle hunting tips that I learned this year. There's, you know, honestly, I'll throw in a couple honorable mentioned ones, having a you know, having a retractable bow hanger is super nice. So this is from Luke's saddle and you can just clip it to your saddle. And then when you're coming up, you know, it's just retractable and that, that made life really easy for me. Um, I was trying to think of a few more, um, you know, pretty much just learning this stuff. You know, when I, if you go back and watch our intro to sa saddle hunting video last summer, you can definitely tell that I had no knowledge on it, but I'd never done it before. So just learning and understanding what everything is and how it works is going to help you a ton. And with the final two tips, team member, our team member Luke is going to jump in here from the tree and bring his last two tips. Hey guys, it's Luke here. Um, I'm just going to talk about two more tips with you guys about saddle hunting. First tip I'm going to talk about is setting up on your strong side. Uh, we already have the stuff set up here, so I'm just going to talk about it a little bit. But if I were to come up to this tree, and say I was trying to set up on my strong side when I'm deer hunting. Say I have a deer trail here in front of me, I always want to set up so I'm shooting on my strong side, so that's my right side, or my left side, I should say, I guess. Um, I'm gonna come up to the tree, set my stick. Once I get on the stick, I'm gonna set my platform, climb up into it. And I'm talking about my strong side, setting up for it. My strong side's always gonna be my left side here, so we got a deer trail running here not going to want to set up like on this side of the tree per se because my strong side is my left. I wouldn't want to have to somehow turn around and shoot my bow like this. So what I'm saying is shooting on your strong side it's not going to be the only shot you can take while you're saddle hunting but you're going to want to set that up because that's most likely where your deer are going to be and you're going to want to set up for where the deer are going to be for your easiest shot. My second tip for you guys is going to be just practice, 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 practice. Um, you're going to have, like I said, your strong side shot, your weak side shots, shots where you can put your hip up against the tree, turn around. And like the buck I shot this year is a good one to practice. Is Early in September, I shot the G3 buck. I call it the seat belt style standing. Put your back to the tree, heels to the tree, and you stand like this. You can kind of lean on your tether a little bit, loosen it up a little bit, lean out a little bit more, and you can get that offside shot. So being facing the tree for your strong side. Um, practicing your shots with your saddle are going to benefit you a lot later in the season. You want to be ready for when you get your opportunity. There's not going to be very many of them and you're going to want to make it count when it happens. So one of my biggest tips would be practice all your shots on your saddle as much as you can and it's going to pay off later in the fall. Appreciate you guys watching. Click that like and subscribe button below. We got a ton more content coming this spring.